Okay, in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, binary operations. So we're going to start with conversion of binary numbers to decimal numbers. So let's to express binary numbers in decimals or binary. Decimals or binary means base 10, while binary means base 2. We write the binary number as a sum of multiples of powers of 2, but we multiply each digit by the base and add it to the next digit starting from the left. So we're going to start that out. You should take note of this. Any number or letter raised to the power of 0 is always what? 1. So we're going to start with this uh, simple example here. We are to convert, convert 1111 base 2 to binary. That is a number in base 10. So to do that, since we are in base, to just start from here and label the 0, 1, 2, 3. So we are going to have 1 times 2 raised to power 3 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0. So that will be equal to 1 times 2 raised to power 3 is 8 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2 is 4 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 is 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0 is 1. So remember that any 2 raised to power 0 is always what? 1. So this is going to give us 1 times 8, that's 8, plus 1 times 4, 4, plus 1 times 2, 2, plus 1 times 1, uh, that's uh, 1. So that will be equal to 8 plus 4, that's 12, plus 2, 14 plus 1, that's 15 base 10. So therefore, 1, 1, 1, 1 base 2 is equal to 15 base 10. So let's look at uh, example 2. For example 2, we have express 11101 base 2 as a decimal number. That's 2 base 10. So we're going to have, we start from here, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going to have... One 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 zero one base two will be equal to one times two raised to power four. That's the power here. Plus one times two raised to power three. Plus one times two raised to power two. Plus zero times two raised to power one. Plus one times two raised to power zero. So that will be equal to, so when you multiply 1 by all of this, that's going to give us 2 raised to power 4 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 3 is 2 raised to power 3 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2, that's 2 raised to power 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 1 is 0 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0 is 1. So this will be equal to 2 raised to power 2, 4 is 16 plus 2 raised to power 3 is 8 plus 2 raised to power 2 is 4 plus 0 plus 1 times 1, that is 1. So when we add all of these together, we're going to have 16 plus 8, that's 24. 24 plus 4, that's 28, plus 1, that's 29. So that's going to give us 29 base 10. So let's take a look at example 3. For example 3, we are converting... 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, base 2, to a number in base 10. So we will start from here, from the right, we we'll label it backward. We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so okay. 0, base 2 will be equal to 1 times 2 raised to power 6 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 5 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 4 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 3 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 0 times 2 
raised to power 0. So this will be equal to 1 times 2 raised to power 6. 2 raised to power 6 is 64 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 5. 2 raised to power 5 is 32 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 4. That is 16 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 3. That is 8 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2. That is 4 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1. That is 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 0. That will be 0. So you multiply 0 by any number. That gives you 0. So that's going to give us 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 as equal to 126 base 10. Okay, so this is what you're going to do. You're going to try all of this. This is an activity for you. Express the following binary numbers as denary number that is as numbers in base 10 so now we are going to look at conversion of number bases to other number bases to denary that's base 10 so we are going to convert from numbers uh which are not in base 2 to base 10 okay so this is the rule if you want to convert from other number bases to Binary that is a number in base 10 is the same way as you do in binary that we discussed in the previous what session. So we're going to use these examples to look at that. So let's convert express 56 base 8 to a binary number. So we're going to start from here. You write 0 and 1. So remember the base is 8. So we're going to have 56 base 8 is equal to 5 times 8 raised to power 1 plus 6 times 8 raised to power 0 that will be equal to 5 times 8 plus 6 times 8 raised to power 0 is 1 remember anything raised to power 0 would always be 1 so this will be equal to 5 times 8 that is 40 so we have 40 plus 6 times 1 that is 6 which is equal to 46. So let's move on to example two. In example two, we have to convert one, two, three, four, base five to a number in base 10. So we'll start from here. We have zero, one, two, three. Okay. So that will be one, two, three, four, base five will be equal to one times. 5 raised to power 3 plus 2 times 5 raised to power 2 plus 3 times 5 raised to power 1 plus 4 times 5 raised to power 0. So that would be 1 times 5 raised to power 3 is 125 plus 2 times 5 raised to power 2 is 25. 25 times 2. That is 50 plus 5 raised to the power 1 is 5 times 3. That's 15 plus 4 times 5 raised to the power 0. Four raised to power, 5 raised to the power 0 is 1. So 1 times 4 is 4. So when we add this together, we're going to have 125 plus 50 plus 15 plus 4. So that will be equal to 194 base 10. Okay, so here are some class activity that you should try. Express in binary the following number bases. So these numbers, base 8, base 7, base 9, and base 5. Express them in base 10. That is what this means. So next, we are going to look at conversion from binary to any base. That's conversion from base 10 to any other base. So here, let's just look at the rule. In converting a binary number, that is a base 10 number to base 2, that is binary or any other base, we divide by the new base, keeping the remainder in each step until there is nothing more to 
divide. The result is the list of remainders from the last to the first. So we are going to take this as an example. Convert 41 base 10 to base 5. So you draw a straight line. You're going to draw a straight line. Okay. So on this, you are going to write 41 here. And you're going to divide by 5 because that's the base. So 41 divided by 5 is 8, remainder 1. And here you are going to divide 8 by 5 again. 8 divided by 5 is 1, remainder 1. Then 1 divided by 5 is impossible. So you write 0 here and write this number here as the remainder. So you're going to write this number upward this way. So 41 base 10 would be equal to, so you read it from your 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, base 8. So let's go to the next example. So example 2, convert 400 and 200 and 43 base 10 to base 8. Again, you're going to draw a straight line just like this. Then you draw this. So you're going to have 243. You are going to divide by 8. So we can divide this 24 divided by 24 divided by 8 is 3. And 8 divided by 8 is 1. So there is no remainder, so you write the remainder as 0. Now divide by 8. 31 divided by 8 is 3. Remainder. Remainder 7. So again, we divide by 8. 3 divided by 8 is impossible. So you write 0 here. And you write remainder. Three. This 3, you bring it here. So you write this up. In this format, so we can now say 243 base 10 is equal to 370 base 8. So, example 3 express 26 base 10 as a binary number again. I'm going to draw our straight line. So a binary number is a number in base 2. Let me just work this out this way. Okay. So I'm going to write 26 here. And I have 2. 26 divided by 2 is 13. There's no remainder. So 13 divided by 2 is 6 remainder 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3 without remainder. 3 divided by 2 is 1 remainder zero, uh, remainder 1. And uh, 1 divided by 2 is impossible. So you write 0 and you write this remainder here 1. So you write it up this way. So we can therefore see that 26 base 10 is equal to, you write this 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, base 2. So these are your class activity. So you are to convert the following base 10 numbers to the base indicated in the bracket in front of it. So this is base 7, base 5, base 6, base 2. So you have to provide answers for this. So next, let's look at how to convert Convert it from one base to another base other than base 10. So we want to convert from one base to another that is not base 10. So to do this, you have to follow these two steps. Step one, convert the given base to base 10 first. Then step two, convert the result given from step one above to the required word base. So if you are converting to base 10, you convert, you, you expand. After expanding to base 10, then you divide by the required word base. So let's take some examples. In this example, we are to convert 
10111 base 2 to base 6. So first of all, we have to convert this to base 10 first. So I'll start from I have 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I'm going to write 10111 base 2 equals 1 times 2 raised to power 4 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 3 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0. So this will be equal to 1 times 2 raised to power 2. We remember 2 raised to power 2 have 4 and 2 raised to power 4 is 16 plus 0 times the whole of this gives us 0 plus 1 times this gives us 2 raised to power 2 and 2 raised to power 2 is 4 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 is 2 raised to power 1 and 2 raised to power 1 is 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0 is always 1 so 1 times 1 is 1 so we'll add this together we have 16 plus 4 that is 20 plus 2 22 plus 1 that is 23 base 10. Now we can now draw our straight line and convert this to base 6. So I'm going to write 6, 20, uh, 23 here. Then I'm going to divide by 6. Okay, 23 divided by 6 is 3 remainder really 5. Then we can divide by it. 6 again. 3 divided by 6 is impossible. So write 0 remainder. We'll take this 3 and put it here. Then we'll write it up straight. So we can then write 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, base 2 is equal to 35 base 6. Okay, so let's go to example 2. In example 2, we have to convert 3041 base 5 to base 4. First of all, we have to convert this to base 10 first. So we'll start from this. We have 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3041 base 5 would be equal to 3 times the base is 5, 5 raised to power 3 plus 0 times 5 raised to power 2 plus 4 times 5 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 5 raised to power 0. So that will be equal to um, 3 raised to power 5 raised to power 3 is 125. 125 times 3 is equal to 375 plus 0 times 4. 5 squared is 0, plus 4 times 5 raised to the power 1 is 20, plus 1 times 5 raised to the power 0 is 1, 1 times 1 is 1. So let's add all of this together. So 375 plus 20 plus 1 is equal to 396 base 10. So this time I will have to convert it from base 10 to base 4. So we'll draw a straight line again. So I'm going to write 3, 9, 6 divided by 4. So I'm going to divide 39, 39 by 4. So that will be 9 as 36. So remaining 3, I'll put it on this. 36. So there will be 3 remaining here. So I'll add it to this. 3, 36 divided by 4 is 9. Remainder 0. So 99 divided by 4. I'll divide 9 by 4. That's 2. Remainder 1. I'll add that 1 to this. 19 divided by 4 is 4. Remainder Three. Okay, we we'll divide by four again. Twenty-four divided by four that's six. Remainder zero. 
So we'll divide 6 by 4, 1, remainder 2, and four, 1 divided by 4, that is 0, remainder, we'll take this one, put it here, then we'll write this upward. So therefore, we can then write 3041 base 5 is equal to 12030 base 4. So these are your class activity. Convert a 405 base 6 to a binary number. 2321 base 4 to octa scale. So an octa scale is base 8. Then 658 base 8 to base 3. So let's look at our bicimal numbers. Bicimal numbers or bicimals are binary numbers in fractional form in which the denominator is a power of 2. So these are examples of bicimal number 10.101, 0 0.111, 0.1111, 0.1111.101. Etc. So these are examples of bicimal number. They are binary number that have decimals. Okay, have decimal uh, places. So conversion of bicimal to denary to convert uh, a bicimal to that means to convert it from base two to base ten. In converting bicimal numbers to denary, we write the bicimal numbers as a sum of multiples of powers of two. The whole number part of bicimal are raised to positive powers of 2, increasing to the left, starting with 0, while the fractional part are raised to negative power of 2, decreasing to the left, starting with negative what, 1. We'll just uh, So this is an example of bicimal. This part here, this part here, is the whole number part. Why this other part after the decimal point is the fractional number part or the decimal word part? So we're going to use these examples we use these examples to, you know, explain what we just read through this place. So this, this example, we have to convert the following to binary. That is, convert these numbers to base 10. So we'll start with this A. So the numbers, the number will be, all right, 101.11 base 2. So I'll start from this point. This will be 0, 1, 2. Then for this, after the decimal, I'll have no, minus 1 minus 2. So I express them as powers of 2. So this is going to be 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0 plus. You notice I'm not writing the point. I'm using point. Just point uh, plus there instead of the point. Okay, plus 1 times 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power minus 2. So when we express this, this is going to be 1 times 2 raised to power 2 will be 4 plus 0 times this will be 0 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1 plus 1 times this returns this. 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 1 times this gives us 2 raised to power minus 2. So I'll just write this as 4 plus 0 plus 1, that is 5 plus. Now this will not become 2 raised to power minus 1 becomes 1 over 2 plus 2 raised to power minus 2 is 1 over 2 raised to power 2. So I can rewrite this as 5 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 raised to power 2 is 4 or I can just omit this side and work out the fraction so this should be 5 plus so let's take the LCM of this the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4 so 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 2 times 1 is 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1, 1 times 1, 1. So that gives us 5 plus 2 plus 1. That's 3 all over 4. So that becomes 5 plus. So we can uh, divide this. I just a uh, long division method. So we we'll have 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4 is impossible. 
So I put zero point, then I'll add zero to this. 30 divided by four is seven. Seven times four is 28. So 30 minus 28 is two. Two divided by four, impossible. I'll add zero. Then 20 divided by four is five. So I'll add that to this, 0 0.75. So when I add them together, it's going to be 5.77. Five point seven five base ten. Okay. So let's go to the other part. I'll just uh, erase this and I'll take the part B here. So B. So I'll do the same thing. So that's zero point one one. So this is going to be zero. It's going to be one uh, minus one, and this is going to be minus two. So if I work this out, we're going to have 0 times 2 raised to power 0 plus, you'll notice this, 1 times 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power minus 2. So this will be equal to, so when I multiply this, that's 0 plus 1 times 2 raised to power, that's 2 raised to power minus 1. So 1 times 3 raised to power minus 2, that's 2 raised to power minus 2. So that will be equal to 0 plus 1 over 2, that's this, plus 1 over 2 raised to power 2, which is equal to 0 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. So you can ignore the 0, so that gives us, so we'll take the LCM of this, that's 4, 4 divided by 2, that's 2 times 1, that's 2 plus 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 1, that's 1, so that gives us 3 over so it's similar to the division I did with this. So that will be equal to 0 0.75 base 10. So let's uh, take the final part. So for C, we would have 111.011 base 2. So I'm going to write, start from here, I'm going to have 0. 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So this will be equal to 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0 plus 0 times 2 raised to power minus 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 3. So this will be equal to, so when you work this out, this is 2 raised to the power 2 is 4, 4 times 1, that's 4, plus 2 raised to the power 1 is 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 2 raised to the power 0 is 1, times 1, that is 1, plus 0 times 2 raised to the power minus 1 will always be 0, plus 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 2 becomes 1 over 2 raised to the power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power minus 3 will be 1 over 2 raised to the power 3. So this will be equal to 4 plus 2 plus 1, that is 7, plus, so I omitted 0, 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 is 7, plus 1 all over 4 plus 1 all over 2 raised to the power 3 is 8. 2 raised to the power 3 means 2 times 2 times 2. Okay. So this will be equal to 7 plus. So we'll take the LCM of this. That's 8. 8 divided by 4. That's 2. 2 times 2. 2 times 1. That's 2. Plus 8 divided by 8. That's 1. Times 1. That's one so this will be equal to seven plus two plus one that's three all over it so i use the long division measure to divide this also so i'm going to have three divided by eight so three divided by eight is impossible so i'll add zero point and i'll add zero to this so 30 divided by 8 is 
3, 3 times 8, that's 24, 24 divided by 30, uh, minus 30, that's 6, 60 divided by 8, impossible, so I'll add 0, so 60 divided by 8 is 7, 7 times 8 is 56, So 60 minus 56 is 4. 4 divided by 8 is impossible, so I'll add 0. 40 divided by 8 is 5. So when I multiply 5 by 8, that gives us 40. And so I have 0, 0. So that means this is going to be equal to 7 plus 0 0.375. So when you add this together, that's going to give us 7.375. 3, 7, 5, base 10. Next, we are going to look at arithmetic operation in number. So basic operation of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division are carried out in other bases exactly the same way they are done in base 10. So we'll start with our addition in binary, that's base 2. So to add numbers in binary, the following steps are very important. Arrange the numbers as in the addition of decimal numbers. That is, arrange them according to their place value. They must be arranged according to their place values. Arrange the element of the column starting with the rightmost column. Divide the sum by 2. Record the remainder, which is either 0 or 1. Add the quotient. That is the one that you are, uh, the one you carry is the remainder. The quotient is the exact number of time that that is divided into. So add the quotient to the sum of the next column and repeat the process for the next column. So note this. In binary operation, 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. 1 plus 1, 0 is 1, 1. And 1 plus 1, 1 is 1, 0, 0. So these are in base in base 2 so the addition in base 2 so with this you can easily add numbers in base 2 so let's take this example here add 111 base 2 and 110 base 2 so i'm going to write them 111 and the place value should be this 11 all in base 2 so i'm going to add this if you record uh, to our previous table 1 plus 1 is one zero so i'm going to write zero and i carry the one so one plus one again is one zero plus the one you carry so one zero plus that will give us one one so i'll write one and i'll carry one again then i'll now add this one to this one plus one is what one zero so this is our answer in base two okay i can repeat this again one plus one is one zero so you write down this zero you carry this one, add it to this one, that makes it one zero again. And one zero plus one, that gives us one one. So you write down this one and carry this one, carry this one and add it to this, that gives us one zero. So you can see it from the previous table when I show this. So this is what I'm using the table here. Okay, so let's work this out. So this is going to be, so I'll start with this. I'm going to have one, one, zero, one, one. Then 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have five numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So they go together. So I have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. There are four numbers. I'll start from here. 1. Then I write the 0, 0, 1. So you see, they follow the place value. All in base 2. So. so let's add this together. So 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, plus this one here. So that gives us 1, 1. So I'm going to write down 1, and I'll carry this one. So I'll add it to this. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So you see, when I add 1, 0 to 0, 0, it gives us 1, 0. So I'll write down this 0, and I'll carry 1. This one, add it to this 0, that's 1. Add it to this one, it gives you 1, 0. Add this 1, 0 to this 0, it gives you 1, 0. So you write down this 0, then you carry 1. 
So 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. 1, 0. Plus this 1. That gives us 1, 1. So I'll write this 1. And I'll carry this 1. So I'll add this 1 to this 1. That's 1, 0. Then this 1, 0, I'll add it to this 1. So that gives us 1, 1. Base 2. So this is the simple way of adding numbers in base 2. Okay. So here we are going to look at addition in other bases. So here we are looking at bases that are not base 2. So the same principle apply when performing addition in binary and denary. Okay, we have an application here. So we'll use these examples to work this out. So here's what you're going to do. I'm going to have 4, 0, 0, 0, 2, base 5. The first thing I have to do is to count the number of digits. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. This one will just start from this side. So I'm going to have 3, 0, 4, 3, base 5. So let's add this together. Now 5 plus 5, 5, 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 5. So since it is 5, it's up to base 5. The number must not exceed base, base 5. So I have to divide by 5. When I divide by 5, I'm going to have so 1 remainder 0. So the 1 remainder 0, this is the remainder. I'll write it down here. And I'll carry this 1. And I'll carry this 1. I'll add it to this 1. To this 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is also 1. So it's, since it's not up to 5, I'm going to write the 1 down. Then 0 plus 4 is 4. It's not up to base 5. So I'll write the 4 down. 0 plus 3 is 3. It's not up to base 5. So I'm going to write the 3 down. Then I have 4 plus 0. Then that's 4 base 5. Okay. Now let's uh, look at example 2. For example, to find the sum of 232 two, two, two base 4 and 302 base 4. So I'm going to have 2, 3, 3, 2. The digits are 1, 2, 3, 4. And this one is 3, 1, 2, 3. So I have to start from the right. 2, 0, 3, then plus. So they are in base 4. So 3 plus, okay, 2 plus 2 is 4. Since it's up to base 4, I'm going to divide by 4 again. And that will give us 1, remainder 0. So I have to write this 0 here. Then I'll carry this 1 and add this to this as 4 again. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So I'll do 4 divided by 4. That's 1, remainder 0 again. So I'll write down the remainder and I'll carry this 1. And add this to this that's seven uh, that's four four plus three is seven so i do seven divided by four it's going to be one remainder three so i'm going to write down the remainder again and i'll carry this one and add it to the that's three so three plus zero is three since it's not up to four we we'll write three here is four okay so this is uh an addition table of numbers in base 9. So you can look through the table, just pause the video and look through the table and see how they, they are done. So if you look at this, let me just look at the point here on this, this point here. So this means that I have uh, 1 plus 8. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. Since we are working in base 9, you find out that this is up to 9. So you divide it by 9. So that's going to be 1 remainder 0. So the 1, this 0, you write it and put the 1 behind it. So that's why you have this. Uh, let me randomly choose another number. Let's say this. Okay. 7 plus 3. 7 plus 3. That's this 7. Then plus 3 is equal to 10. So it's greater than 9. So you have to divide by 9. So 10 divided by 9 is 1, remainder 1. So you write this 1 and this this way. So that's why you have 11. So you can check through all of this for that uh, addition. So these are activities for you to do. Evaluate the following. Okay, this should be 
okay there's a wrong this there's something wrong with it so you leave this so you have to add this then you work this out also so you find the value of asterisk in all of this so let's look at subtraction in base two and other word basis subtraction in, in binary numbers are the same as subtraction in the as base 10 numbers when the digit of the number to be subtracted is larger than the responding digit above it we transfer one two from the next left column okay if the immediate next column has zero digits the transfer will be from the further left column the same principle is applicable to other bases other than these two so we're going to look at uh, an application of this with this example so i'll start with this subtract 1001 from 111 so we are removing this from this i'm going to have one i'm going to have one 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 base two then i'm subtracting they are the same digit one zero one base two so let's subtract one minus one is zero one minus zero is zero one and one minus one is zero so this can be written as one zero since this zero before the base is not relevant so one zero base two now for this, we are asked by how much is 3767 seven base 8 greater than 2653 base 8. So what we just do is to subtract this from this. So we're going to write 3, that's number 2, 3767 seven base 8 minus two six five three all in base eight so let's subtract six seven minus three is four is not is four so we have four six minus six minus five is one seven minus six is one and three minus two is one so that's the answer in base eight now here this we have to find the missing numbers in this subtraction in base two so what we simply do so since this is the sum what we have here is the sum it therefore means that this plus this will be equal to this and this the asterisk will be equal to this minus this so let's do this i'm going to have one 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 two three four five six one two three four five six so i'm going to subtract this from me so I'm going to have one, zero, one, zero, and one. So one minus one is zero. One minus zero is one. One minus one is zero. One minus one. One minus zero is one. One minus one is zero. And one minus zero is one. So that means the asterisk is equal to this okay so let's look at example four if two three four base five plus x s x base five is equal to four three four base five of base five is equal to two three zero four base five find s s s so what we're going to do is this first of all add this and this together so we're going to have two, three, four is five plus four, three, four base five. So let's add this together. So we have four plus four, that is eight, which is greater than five. So we have eight divided by five is equal to one remainder three. So we'll write the remainder and we'll carry this one. Okay, so I'm going to add that one so i'm going to add that one to this that's one plus three that's four four plus three that's seven so i'm going to do seven divided by five again that is one remainder two so i'm going to write these two and the one i carry it and place it on top of this then i'm going to have one plus one 
1 plus 2, that's 3. 3 plus 4, that's 7 again. Divided by 5, that's going to be 1 remainder. So I'm going to have 2, 1 in base 5. So the next thing I have to do, because I've already added this, we we'll have asterisk plus 1, 2, 2, 3, base 5 is equal to 2, 3, 0, 4, base 5. So what I'm going to do is to make SS the subject. The asterisk will be equal to 2, 3, 0, 4, base 5. When this goes here, it becomes minus 1, 2, 2, 3, base. So I'll just rearrange it so that I can uh, do the subtraction. So that will be equal to 2, 3, 0, 4, base 5. This is equal to 50, so I can write it 1, 2, 2, 3, base 5. So we'll subtract. So we're going to subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1. 0 minus 2 is impossible so since so, so we're working, working in base 5 i'll borrow one from here leaving 2 the one that i borrow becomes 5 i add it to 0 5 plus 0 is 5 5 minus 5 minus 2 is 3 so remember remember we have two left here so 2 minus 2 is 0 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so asterisk is equal to this base Five. So let's look at a multiplication and division of number bases. So multiplication is just repeated addition, and this principle is always applied why multiplying binary number and other number bases. The important thing we must note is that if we are working in base two, number bases, all the figures we use in the working should be less than two, or the number base under consideration. Yeah. So you can see that these are in base two. All the numbers as one and zero. They cannot get to base 2. So let's multiply this. So to multiply this, I'm going to have 1, 1, 0, 1 times 1, 1, 1. So multiply 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0, 0. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. So you see, I'm starting this from the third column now. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1, 1. So we have to add all of this together. So when adding this together, we have 1. 0 plus 1 is 0. Remember, 1 plus 0 is 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1, remember, is 1, 0. So we're going to write down 0 and carry this 1. Add it to this, that becomes 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1, that is 1, 1, 1, carry 1, add it to this. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 1, 1, carry 1, add it to this. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So this is our results. Okay, so this is a multiplication table in base 5. So in this multiplication table, I'll just randomly pick some number, let's say this times uh, this is in base 5. So we have 3 times... 4 is equal to 12, which is greater than 5. So you divide by 5. 12 divided by 5 is equal to 2. Remember what? 2. So you're going to write 22. That's why we have 22. Now let me randomly pick another number. 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6. It's greater than base 5. So I'll divide by 5. That's 1. Remember 1. So I have 1, 1. That's why I have one one. I can pick another number. Let's say this four times two is eight. Eight divided by five is one remainder three. So I'm going to have it one remainder three. So that's it. That is how we have okay four times. So finally, let's just look at division. So division in base. 2 is very similar to division in base 10. If the two numbers are in the same base, we divide using long division. However, if both numbers are not in the same base, we convert the to base 10 and then to the required. So for this, I'm going to use two methods to solve for this division. Divide 10100 
0 base 2 by 1, 1 0, 0 base 2. So what we have to do, the first method, method 1, for method 1, I'll first of all convert all of this base to base 10. So for this, I'm going to have 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So I'll start from this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this will be 1 times 2 raised to power 4 plus 0 times 2 raised to power raised to power 3 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 1 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 0. So this will be 1 times 2 raised to power 4 as 16 plus as 0 times 2 raised to power 3 will be 0 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 2 will be 4 plus 0 times this is 0 and 0 times whatever number you have here will be what? 0. So that will be 16 plus 4 that's 20. So again we're going to expand this 1 0 0 that's 0 1 2. So this will be 1 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 0 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 1. Uh, raised to power, okay, this is raised to power 1 and this is raised to power raised to power 1 and raised to power 2. So if at this times this will be 0, so we'll be left with 1 times 2 raised to power 2, that's 4 plus 0 plus 0, which is equal to 4. So we can now divide 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. So we have to convert 5 back to base 10. So how do we convert 5 back to base 10? We'll draw a straight line. Then we'll put 5 here. 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 0 and 2 divided by 1 is 0 remainder 1. So we can write it up this way. So that the, our result is going to be equal to 101 one base 5. So the method 2 that I'm going to use, method 2. So the method 2 is going to be long division method. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. The numbers we are dividing. Let me just write them there, down this way so that I can see them clearly. So that's 100 one zero, one zero, zero base 2 divided by 100 zero, zero base 2. So I'm going to use the long division method. I'll pick my line, draw a straight line. So on this side, I'm going to put my 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So here I'm going to put 100 here. So the number of time 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1 divided by 100 is exactly 1. So multiply this by this, I've got 1, 0, 0. So then I will now subtract 101 minus 100 is 1. So I'll bring that this 0. Okay, before that. 1 divided by 100 is possible, so I'll have 0, and I'll bring that this to 0 and 0. So 100 divided by 100 is 1. When I multiply this by this, I'm going to have 1, 0, 0, then subtract. That gives us 0, 0. So our result is 1, 0, 0, 1, base 2, which is the same as of before. Okay, sorry, this was supposed to be in here, base 2. in base 2 because we're working in base 2 so converted 5 to base 2 so which is the same result so what you have here are practice exercise so these are for you to i practice to practice all of this okay so you feel the boss and do all of this okay so that'll be all for this uh